Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. Recently, I've been asked, how can I begin my organizing journey and where do I start? So I decided to create a video to show you how you can get organized. So how do you get organized? Let's go to the dictionary. The definition of organizing is to arrange in a structured order. Whether it be clothes or thoughts, being organized helps create order in your life, both physically and mentally. Because whatever affects you mentally affects you physically, and whatever affects you physically affects you mentally. So if you're ready to begin your journey into getting organized and staying organized, which is key, stay tuned. So the first step to getting organized is determining your why. I'm sure many of us have heard of this, but the importance of determining your why helps set precedence for the future of your organizing process. So in this case, your why would not be what you want to do or how you want to do it, rather the purpose behind this change and decision. So questions like, what's your biggest reason behind getting organized? Why is being organized so important? Why is it now you want to change the way you function in your home? Once you've answered these questions, next ask yourself why you came up with these answers. For example, let's say your why was because you're overwhelmed. So I'm so overwhelmed that I've noticed that I'm constantly getting upset at people. My why is my family. I wanna start spending more time with my family. Your why can also be yourself. I want to gain control of my environment as well as focus on my passions. Whatever your why is, make sure you write them down because they will serve as reminders to your purpose, cause and beliefs for making the change and they will help inspire you to get to your goal. The second step to getting organized is to create a to-do list or a checklist. I cannot stress the importance of creating a to-do list or a checklist for tasks that you're trying to achieve to get closer to your goals. This list will be on particular areas in your space that you want to focus on or just ideas that you have on how to create a more organized space. Just be sure that you be as specific as possible because this list is something that you will be referring to as you are continuing your organizing process. If you're finding this process to be a little difficult, you can try to take a walk in the space that you want to organize and just jot down every single item in that space. The third step to getting organized is to get rid of shit. Shit is stuff that has no value in your life today. In order to do this effectively, what you can do is to create three different piles, which will be things that you keep, that you trash, and which you donate. Place them on the ground, which will put them in your face and allow you to sort through everything. This will give you a clear understanding of exactly what you have and help you designate a proper place for everything. The next step will be to start in the most common or most frequently used space. If you spend the most time in your living room, I would suggest that you start in small areas and walk your way up to the larger areas. Just be sure that once you start, you complete it. You don't want a room that's half organized and half cluttered. That kind of beats the purpose. The next step is to hide it. If you're finding it difficult to declutter and get rid of items that you're just unsure if you really love it, what you can do is to bag them and hide it somewhere. If you don't reach for these items within six months to a year, then it's probably time to let them go. The next step to getting organized is to ask yourself questions before you buy anything. This is absolutely anything that enters your home. Questions like, do I really love it? Does it fit my style? If it was three times the price, will I still buy it? If you answer no to either one or three of these questions, then it's probably best you do not buy it. The seventh step to getting organized is to devote 15 minutes of organizing daily. You'll be surprised on how much stuff you can get done in this time frame. So if you take something out, make sure you put it back. Try to organize that drunk drawer. Try to make sure that you hang up and fold. Once the laundry is complete, make sure that you put it in its place. Once you incorporate this into your daily lifestyle, you'll notice how much time you have in the day to focus on other things. The last and final step to getting organized is to start now. 
Because the past is gone and the future doesn't exist, the only time you have to start anything is right now. Because being organized isn't a natural skill for many of us, it's very important that if we decide to change our lifestyle, that we must start at this very moment. Here's a great quote that puts this in perspective. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Before I end this video, I'd like to introduce my three days organizing series. Next week, I will kick off my series with the bedroom. We're gonna focus on organizing your entire bedroom. So if this is an area that you'd love to focus on, tune in next week because we will be doing so. And day one will be all about our drawers. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so very much for watching this video and I'll see you next week. Bye.